Today is the last day of freedom for convicted mega fraudster Elizabeth Holmes. She infamously helped found the failed blood testing startup Theranos and was sentenced to 11 years for scamming some pretty prominent investors. They included veteran statesmen and captains of industry like former Secretary of State Charles Schultz, Fox Media mogul Rupert Murdoch, and Oracle founder Larry Ellison. Holmes tried to delay her prison reporting time, but a judge directed her to show up tomorrow. For a sense of what is ahead for the 39-year-old mother of two, we have Larry Levine with us right now. Larry is the founder of Wall Street Prison Consultants. He's someone you go to if you need help before you head to the penitentiary. So Larry, what should Elizabeth Holmes expect tomorrow? And by the way, I love your shirt. It's Memorial Day. The Elizabeth should expect to be treated like a scumbag by the staff. I mean, they are going to try to demean this woman, give her the worst jobs they possibly can. She's going to start in the kitchen. Everyone who goes to Bryant does a 90-day stint in the kitchen. After that, maybe she'll be a groundskeeper. She'll go around as a janitor, picking up trash cans and emptying them. You know, life as this woman knows is over. She's used to living a privileged life. Well, now she's going to be making 12 to 40 cents an hour. And they're going to tell her when to eat, when to sleep, when to go to the bathroom, when she can shower. She's only going to get 300 minutes a month for, uh, yeah, 300 minutes starting, I think it's June 20th for the telephone. So she's going to have limited communication. And a lot of the inmates aren't going to feel sorry for her. I mean, some are going to like try to suck up to her and think that Elizabeth can do something for them. And the other ones are going to consider her a privileged little whiny, uh, I don't want to use the word, but you know where I'm <laughs> going with this. And they're not going to put up with it. And she, if she thinks that people are going to like her, she's mistaken. I mean, I spoke to Lynn Espejo, my colleague who actually spent time there. Turns out that Jen Shaw is there, the housewife, and now there's a problem there where inmates have cell phones. They've got them all over the country. They smuggle them in. I venture to say that we're going to see in the next few weeks pictures of her pop up uh, in different parts of the institution. And wow. here's the, you know, 11 years, it's really not. I broke it down this morning for the sole purpose of this interview. She's got an 11 year sentence. Here it is. She's going to get 20 months of good time. She's going to get another six months of what's called community custody, which is like a halfway house. Huh. She's going to get about a year for the First Step Act if she takes educational programs and she holds a job. And then I don't know this for sure, but her lawyer wasn't a moron or anything. And she probably did have an alcohol or drug problem. We're going to give her another 12 months off. So what did that come to? That's 50 months off. So out of those 11 years, maybe she'll do, what, six years and 10 months? So it's really not that bad. Well, okay, she's, I did 10 I mean, years. She's going to do 10 years and six months. In the big scheme of things, it's not that bad. And as far as an appeal, she was found guilty by a jury. So this lady is just wasting her time and spending money she doesn't have. Larry, it's so fascinating to get your perspective. I, I do want to ask, she has two young kids, both of them under the age of three. How often do you think she's going to see them and what kind of special considerations might they give her for being a relatively new mom? I, you know, I don't know if they're going to give her any special, special considerations. Remember, she's special. She thinks she's special. She's just another inmate. And they'll have weekly or bi-weekly visiting. It's not like something you saw on TV where somebody's picking up the phone and they're talking through the glass. This is a contact visit. So her and her husband or whatever he is, I don't even know if they're married. Speculation. He can show up there. He can bring the kids. They can all sit down next to each other. She can give them each a hug and kiss when they get there. Maybe they could spend an hour or two there. And then the visit is over. So, yeah, she'll have some contact with them. But, you know, again, she may have staff members taking pictures of her with her children. Yeah. There's pro I understand from some of the tabloids 
there's a big bounty out. They, they contacted me to see if I could get these. There's a big wow. bounty out right now for people to get pictures of her in the visiting room. That, that is so, fascinating. Larry, a, a quick final question. Today's her last day of freedom. Sure. What's the most important thing, the, the best piece of advice you could give her? Three things. I'm going to get a little crude here. She should spend some time with her kids, for sure. She should have a good meal. And maybe she should have sex with her husband because <laughs> she's going to be having, she might end up being somebody's girlfriend in there because she's not a bad looking woman. Okay. Hey, she's Larry, not all tore uh, up like Lori though, Vallow. Though we appreciate she the advice, I'm not sure it's the and, best you know, for an afternoon on Memorial Day. Thank you so much for the time. Again, appreciate the shirt. Thanks for sharing part of your holiday with us, Larry. We do appreciate it. Certainly. Bye bye.